what I'm asking for is just spit out the cancer. You know, there was a day, um, Steve King used to be a member of Congress from Iowa, and he made some racist comments, and we basically kicked him off his committees. Today, you know, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, you know, people like Matt Gates, Mo Brooks, the folks you think about, um, they are almost leading. Well, I, I would argue that they are leading the Republican caucus. And so Kevin McCarthy, Elise Stefanik, instead of leading, as you know, their title leadership should suggest they do, they basically are tolerating this all in the name of hopefully I become speaker someday. And what happens, John, is did they pull the trigger? No. You know, did they call this guy up and tell him to do it? Of course not. But when we as a party or a movement or people like, frankly, Tucker Carlson, you know, throw out these theories or just fish in the waters of white replacement theory or echo some of those kind of fear based things, you can't be surprised when some people take that to the level of going and massacring people. You just can't. This is a simple reality check for the Republican Party. Republican leaders know that people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and absurd theories like replacement theory appeal to their base. Republicans have lost the popular vote in six of the last seven elections, so they have decided to accept everyone, even people that are delusional or racist.